difference in my budget. When we bundled our home and auto, we saved over $750 with AAA insurance. Switch to AAA insurance today, and you could save an average of $483 on auto insurance. Compare that to State Farm, GEICO, even Allstate. Call now for your free AAA full picture quote to find out how much you could save. This type of savings on the insurance goes a long way in helping me do the things I like to do. The money we've been able to save from our AAA insurance, we're able to put that money back into our business. We might go to the spa, go to the concert, go out to eat. Yeah, it makes me feel good about spending the money when I know we've already saved it. <laughs> <laughs> to find out how much you could save by switching to AAA insurance, call 877-214-1590 for your free AAA full picture quote today. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for voting Morongo. The best casino resort in the Southland. Dancing with the Stars Brothers, Max and Val Schmerkowski. Plus, watch for the code word for four one-day tickets to Disneyland or Disney California Adventure Park tomorrow. Now at 5, a man is brutally attacked, his French bulldog stolen. During a morning walk in Ladera Heights, the dog's owner is now desperate for his safe return. Armed thieves target the driver of a Bentley in Sherman Oaks. The attempted robbery ending in gunfire, a crash, and a woman in the hospital. And Border Patrol agents are bracing for an expected surge in migrant crossings. The expiration of the pandemic era, Title 42 immigration policy now just hours away. The KTLA 5 News at 5 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. Our top story tonight, a French bulldog stolen in Ladera Heights after his owner is attacked during their early morning walk. Now the owner's asking for help to find their fur baby, Bruno. Yeah, KTLA's Mary Beth McDay joins us live from Ladera Heights with the very latest, MB. Hi there, you guys. And yes, there are so many people that have dogs in this neighborhood, so they're coming by us, and they are just all feeling the pain that this family is feeling. Yes, that whole terrifying incident played out right here this morning on Worcester Avenue in Ladera Heights. And now tonight, this family is pleading with the public to help them find their beloved dog. I can really relate. It, it, it's, it's sad that it has to happen like this, that I can relate now to, to people in a situation when you see when people on the, are on the ground and being kicked as like a piece of dirt. Um, it's no, no regard for life, no regard for human being. Stefan Becker has been left battered, bruised and terribly shaken after he says three or four men beat him up during his morning walk and stole his family's French bulldog, Bruno. He made our, our family, our lives richer, for sure. He says he was simply walking around his Ladera Heights neighborhood around 5.30 this morning when an older model silver Toyota Camry pulled up next to him in the 6400 block of Wooster Avenue. He tells us all of a sudden, some of the guys hopped out of the car and came at him. Two, two masked guys got out of the car, um, covered with hoodies and with ski masks and gloves and one um, uh, um, of them um, jumping out of the passenger seat um, just approached me um, while I was stumbling or um, stepping backwards, um, saying, give me the dog. And I had my dog on the leash, and when I heard that, um, immediately I got hit in the face. He tells us he was knocked to the ground. I dropped the leash. Um, the dog ran off maybe 10 or, or 20 feet and I was laying on the ground and then I believe a, a, a second person came out of the car and um, uh, kept um, uh, um, kicking me um, in my ribs. Meantime, another guy grabbed his three-year-old dog and then they all took off. When I dropped the leash, he ran and I know that he was screaming when he was picked up. Um, and, and that's also, when I remember that, that's sort of heartbreaking. Stefan and his family have been left devastated that their beloved Bruno is gone. When everything is said and done, I can forgive the people who treated me like a piece of dirt. Just get us back our dog. Mm. And the family tells us that Bruno is microchipped. Now, the LA County Sheriff's Department is handling this case. And so if you know of Bruno's whereabouts or who may have him, you are urged to call authorities. For now, reporting live here in Ladera Heights, Mary Beth McDade will send back to you guys in the studio. MB, thank you.
It's believed the victim may have been targeted for high-end jewelry, given the high-end car that he was driving. The suspect ran from the area, but is believed to have been picked up by an accomplice and then switched to a second vehicle. Now to developing news in Long Beach. A 12-year-old boy is dead and a 14-year-old girl is wounded following a drive-by shooting. Investigators say the kids were walking on the sidewalk when a vehicle with at least two males inside opened fire on them. KTLA Sandra Mitchell is live in Long Beach with the latest on the investigation for us tonight. Sandy. Share the Long Beach police chief today calling this devastating and intolerable. And we now, now know that right now